Okay, let's talk about where we landed when we went to the moon, okay? Lunar landings. This is a pretty good picture here. These are showing you the different mare, mare nectaris, mare fosun, fosunditatis, mare tranquillititatis. These are Latin names. Uh, in English, we say sea of tranquility, uh, sea of vaporum, sea of seren, serenitatis, um, so that's serenity, uh, sea of imbrium, ocean, and then the, the ones that are craters, they're named after people, scientists, right? So here's a crater named what? Kepler. A crater named what? Copernicus. A crater named what? Plato. And uh, there's some other ones here. There's a crater named what? Tycho. <laughs> Tycho of Rahi, right? All the people that we talked about earlier, there's always a crater for named for one of them. Okay, uh, first Apollo landing, Apollo 11. There it is, Apollo 11, Sea of Tranquility, where uh, it landed July 1969, okay? So that was an important year because I was born in that year, <laughs> okay? And then uh, I was a little baby, I was oh, there's something important going on, I realized it, okay? That's when we landed on the moon, okay? First landing. Who was the first guy who stepped foot on the moon? I think, didn't he say the famous statement? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, right? Why? Because it's just ama amazing. We landed on an object that we were looking at for hundreds of thousands of years, okay? We were wondering about that object. So the Neil Armstrong is the first person to step foot on the moon. Buzz Aldrin, second guy. I think the third guy never came down. He's in the satellite. Didn't Buzz Aldrin, uh, no, who, who recently died? I think Neil Armstrong recently died. Yeah, Neil Armstrong recently passed away. Um, they brought back with them 22 kilogram of samples, quite a lot they brought back with them, you see. So they landed Sea of Tranquility. And this is a picture of them, astronaut Buzz Aldrin here. And then they put some of their uh, seismic detectors, they're studying stuff, stereo 3D camera, lunar lander, camera antenna flag up there, okay. And the flag was waving a little bit, right? Why would it be waving? The solar wind, right? Solar wind causes it to wave. So it's not a hoax, guys. Apollo 13, <coughs> April 1970. Landing aboard a to do explosion in the command module. Go Tom Hanks because there's a name, movie named after that, and Tom Hanks plays in it. Uh, Tom Hanks actually has a whole series on the Apollo landings and the history of the Apollo landings. Remember that movie, there was a famous uh, sentence. He goes, um, we have a, um, was it? NASA, we have trouble, something like that. I forgot the sentence that he says. Oh yeah, Houston. What is it? Yeah, he says, Houston, we have a problem. And then something happens, and then it's, it gets uh, aborted. Apollo 15, that would be this one here, right here, A15. Uh, July 1971, first landing on a reel. So you know those reels that we said, the valleys, uh, called Hadley Reel. Astronauts traveled 24 kilometers along that reel, picked up material and equipment brought back with them. Okay, so I could ask you a whole bunch of questions on these. When is the first Apollo landing? Who landed first? Where did they land? Which sea of, which mare did they land in? Sea of Tranquility. Apollo 15, where did they land? Which one landing was the first one that traveled along the reel? Okay, 
24 kilometers. Apollo 16 is uh, this one here. Okay, so this one, the Apollo 15, there's a, one of those valleys here, the reels. Apollo 16 is more on a highland, you see, one of the, the higher regions. April 1972, first landing on the highlands, 95 kilogram of samples returned. Apollo 17, December 1972, last landing on the Taurus Mountains. Geologists among the crew, 111 kilogram of samples returned. Where is Apollo 17? Right here. So those are primary, the main ones, 11, 15, 16, 17. After that, we never went back to the moon, okay? Kind of weird, surprising. You would think we would have gone, but probably it has to also do with uh, funding got cut out. And we were also starting to send more stuff to other planets, Mars, a lot of missions to Mercury, the Jupiter, we sent, I think after that, right after 1972, we sent the Pioneer Voyager to, you know, so there's just so much money to go around, okay? And then plus, why should we go back if we don't have anything more to do, you know? Uh, that's why a lot of people ask, why didn't we go back? Well, funding and, and what are we gonna do again, you know? So now they're thinking of going back and now I think more the emphasis is gonna be maybe find out if there's some evidence of water, uh, can we live there, can we colonize it, and now we're going to go to the next stage, you know, uh, really find out. Maybe put up a McDonald's there, franchise, start some businesses going. <laughs> there are also other missions called Luna 16, 20, 24, which the Soviet Union sent from 1970 to 76. That would be this one, L16, 2024. you see Luna missions. But they are not manned missions, no person in them. They were only robotic spacecraft and collected 300 grams of lunar soil and they did some studies but through the computer no one actually landed. This picture I'm going to show you is the first footprint on the moon. It's pretty interesting. And they landed and then they took a picture with their iPhone and they sent it back. No, no, not the iPhone yet. That was way long ago. I wonder if it will stay there for a long time. How long do you think it will stay there? Well, there's no wind on the moon, right? Or maybe there's a little solar wind, but there's no like air or whatever. Probably stay for a, quite a long time. I don't know if forever though. Maybe comet comes and hits the, <laughs> hits the uh, footprint, disappears. <laughs> 